Now, before, before I go any further, you might say, what's this got to do with vision? Well, I got a vision to see America shaken by the hand of God. And unless an ax is laid to the root of the tree, you, you don't got to change one thing. And if you're going to be a pastor and just preach uh, messages in the airy fairy world, fine. But your people are living in hell Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you don't have a pair, grow a pair, get up in the pulpit and tell people what's actually happening. Well, I'll lose people. You're going to lose anyway. They're going to go to hell, number one, because you're not preaching the truth. Number two, they're going to be taken out by the enemy. If people love you, they're not leaving you. Are you with me? They ain't leaving you. If all you've done is preach the truth, they're staying. They're staying. So this well-researched and documented sequel of The Killing of Uncle Sam, Killing the Planet, picks up the thread with a recap of all those who have not read the first book. In case you have not realized that the majority of the world's events that affects our daily lives are not random, but are planned and follow a preset agenda. How did our current problem start? Well, a large branch of it started in South Africa, the country of my birth. For the furtherance of the British Empire and the recovery of the United States, this came straight from the manifesto of Cecil John Rhodes. From the secret society birthed and funded from the world's financial capital, London, England, to New York by way of the private central banks, the foundation of the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the forming of the League of Nations, which would eventually become the United Nations, the parallel rise of the Rothschild and the Rockefeller empires birthed by the great grandfather, a snake oilsman, a salesman, a snake oil salesman and conman, then following the money trail through his transition into the oil business as he took control of energy, created the derivatives that followed, all of which in time ultimately became about the control of the planet. Out of oil came medicine and the control of the medical field, medicines, hospitals, doctors, medical schools that took control of the judiciary the control of the courts from the lower to the state, all the way to the Supreme Court, controlling the law schools, the narrative, the language, and the bar. This resulted in an outcome that was less about justice and more about their agenda. The trials, the sentencing, all rigged with false weights and balances, no blind justice at all. The scales tipped not in favor of humanity, but in favor of the private central banking system. At one time, the Rothschild's wealth was 500 trillion. That never changed. It morphed, hidden behind hundreds of Delaware corporations. Companies bought out, names changed, but the show goes on. Remember that they made their money through the exploitation of capitalism and then funded communism because you need both sides to function. A top-down system of control Yet you have the appearance of opposing teams, but when you own both sides, who cares who wins and loses? So if I own the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I don't care who wins. I own both. The fans do. I don't. I'm making money. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. On the governmental side, Republicans and Democrats are funded by and work for the same people. <laughs> That's why they hate POTUS, because he doesn't work for them. He works for you. I thought I'd get a little bit better response from that. <laughs> How weak, please. Uh, don't use that as a sound bite. No response from this crowd. God help us. The ones, who, okay. the ones who own the private central banks of the world run the planet. Not the 1%, but the 1% of the 1%. Their wealth is hidden in foundation and influences every area of human life. They fund population control and eugenics, wars and death, as millions die in the machinations of this monster of destruction. Death rides. Here comes the pale horse of the apocalypse. Everything's racing towards Armageddon, the rise of a world leader, an antichrist, a one world government, one world religion, and one money system. The Constitution of America, 
was surreptitiously rewritten in each state, not favoring the people, but the corporation. Each new law favoring the machine and legalizing corruption, an intricate web of lies and deceit hiding behind religion, will peace save the planet, the trees, etc., etc., while millions of babies are murdered in and out of the womb. Money must be made, every blockage must be moved. The result is assassinations, murder, slow death, collusion to defraud from character, assassination, stealing inventions, and stopping innovation. Cures for diseases hidden, available only for the few. The concoction of conspiracies and the control of the news narrative. Through misinformation, disinformation, lies and obfuscation, the masses distracted through movies, music, entertainment, and sports, while the takeover occurs, co-opting education, agriculture, food, medicine, the judiciary, controlling the weather, controlling people from the cradle to the grave. Insurance, you need insurance. Your retirement, your future. Keep the narrative going. By hook or by crook, it's accomplished. Flatulent cows are made to be the world's biggest problem. For you that don't know what flatulent cows is, that's a farting cow. <laughs> farting cows is the problem. As now, because of the farts, <laughs> ice caps are melting. <laughs> and polar bears are dying because the farts are warming the earth. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> the whole agenda is not motivated by desire to save the earth. It's really about extracting a carbon tax of $1.5 trillion a year and the creation of an overarching organization which will have control over every nation and its resources. The earth has always gone through great fluctuations of weather from season to season from year to year, from decade to decade, and from century to century. Right now, we are experiencing a grand solar minimum. Let me stop and just explain that to you. So the sun's activity is at the lowest. Earth shields at its weakest. The solar winds are coming in at 1.5 to 2 million miles an hour. They're magnetic. They react with the inner core of the earth, which is magnetic, causing volcanoes and earthquakes. And then what happens if a volcano erupts? The ashes block out the rays of the sun, the temperature drops. That's what destroyed the Incas and other civilizations down through the years. So the earth is always heated and cooled, but not because man or a cow farted. <laughs> I'm sorry for telling it just like it is. A mini ice age is now in effect across the planet. We get ready for colder temperatures up north, and it's a, like a 29-year cycle. Earth breathes, heats, cools. But you would never know that by watching or listening to the news or reading the newspaper. Any natural phenomenon is proof, apparently, the cow's farting too much. No, I didn't say that, I just add that in. Of global warming and climate change. Dot data is falsified, so scientists can continue to receive their research funding. They're funded as long as they adhere to the narrative. Any attempt at independent thought, or asking questions, or actually following the numbers and the science to the truth is not tolerated. If you dare to seek the truth, 
You are censored, silenced, and or discredited. You're called a Nazi, a racist, homophobic, uh, all the phobics they can come up with. Na 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 na. Hashtag racist. Hashtag whatever. Hashtag shut up. That which has been perpetrated over the past 200 years could only have been spawned in the bowels of hell. It is evident that the planet is run by Luciferians who hate God and the creation and all humanity. They have insatiable love for money and power. They will kill their own family members for a quick buck. It's evident they have no fear of God or eternity. Rather, they've set themselves up as God to decide who lives and who dies. The plan is to do, ultimately, away with humans and merge with machines and live forever. That's what they're even trying to do now, is to download their conscience or their mind with computers so they can live on. Hello. My name is Jack Smith. I lived in the year 2019. Hello to all of you living in 2070. They think they're going to live on. It's appointed that a man wants to die, and after that, the judgment. They try to find life on other planets while life is exterminated here on Earth. The mass is kept as hamsters in a wheel going round and round. Useful idiots, cannon fodder human mice to be experimented on. Those who break free and rise above are paid a visit. If they comply, they become part of the elite club. If they don't, they die. This scenario is as old as the earth. Lucifer taking Jesus to a high mountain, offering the kingdoms of the earth, if it would just bow. This was repeated over and over throughout history as men choose to sell their soul to the highest bidder. History repeats itself over and over again. As you read this book, we trust that your eyes will be opened to the truth. Take notes as you read. See if you can connect all the dots. It's like a 3D picture. Once you see it, once it pops out, you cannot unsee it. How many remember those 3D pictures? They'd have them in the windows, you know, and you go, my kids could see them before me, you know. And they, Dad, do you see that? I go, what? It's there, and I'm looking, I can't see anything. And I'm looking, and the kids, Dad, it's there. I can't, maybe I can't see it. And then suddenly, poof, it's there. Then when you look again, you can't unsee it, it's there. Once you see it, once you see it. Let me ask you a question. I said, how many got the book? Who actually read the book? If you did not read the book, you don't know what I'm talking about. You have no clue what I'm talking about. Then when you watch the news, when you listen to people, you'll know and understand the agenda immediately. It'll be plain to you because the difference is like night and day. Remember this, a conspiracy is a secret plot to do. A conspiracy theory is suspicion that there is a conspiracy, but when it's uncovered and revealed, you know it's a fact. The book is not full of theories, but full of historically documented facts. As we tell the readers, if you find any mistake in the book or the previous, contact us, we'll be happy to correct it at the reprint. What author is going to tell you that? Come on, find one mistake, we'll correct it. Come on. It's not about us pushing some idea. It's either true or it's a lie. Why would I come push a lie? Neither I nor my co-author receive a royalty. All proceeds go towards the River School of Government, raising up a new generation of servant leaders, endeavoring to set a standard and stand up for righteousness and truth. May your eyes be open to the truth. May you be inspired to do everything you can help your fellow man uh, before you take your final breath, Dr. Rodney Brown, Tampa, Florida. And then Genesis 8, 22, while the earth remains in seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will not cease.
So rest assured, there'll still be summer, there'll still be winter. Amen.